In this video, I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Wii U. And also, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to set up your virtual Wii to homebrew it as well. Before we start, you should know that homebrewing your Wii U is perfectly legal. However, it does go against Nintendo's terms and uses, so it avoid any warranties if you still have it. They're, they're pretty old, so. <laughs> you should also know that when you mod your system, there's always a potential to brick it, leaving it unusable. These are rare, but it's still a possibility, so you should follow this guide carefully and watch it through once before actually doing it. The guide I will be using is linked in the description. To get started, all you need is a Wii U that connects to the internet and an SD card, preferably 32GB or larger, formatted to FAT32. A micro SD card with an adapter also works. So let's get started by getting the SD card ready. Normally there's a list of downloads and links that you need, as was my previous video, I think it's around 6, and it can get a little confusing sorting them all into the SD card how you need, but for this video I've compiled them all into a single zip file for you to download all at once. So go down to the description and click on the link to get to the Google Drive page I've shared. It should bring you here where it says Funky Scott 47 Wii U SD. And just in the top right, click download. And once that's downloaded, just click it and open it up. WinRAR is what I use to extract. So pull that up and then bring up your SD card. Make sure this is formatted as FAT32. If you don't know how to do that, I'll also link in the video on how to do that for SD cards larger than 32. Otherwise, otherwise if it's 32 gigabytes or smaller, uh, you can just right click on the drive and click format and choose FAT32. So anyways, on the WinRAR file, double click on Wii U SD card, highlight everything, and just drag it on to the root. And then once it's ready, it should look like this. This is everything you need all in one spot to homebrew your Wii U. This is a lot more convenient than the previous way, so it should make the process a little quicker. But once your SD card looks like this, you're totally ready to head over to the Wii U, so I'll meet you over there. So after you have inserted your SD card into your Wii, go to the internet browser, enter a URL, and type in wiiuexploit.xyz. XYZ, I'm Canadian. <laughs> and hit OK and it should, should take you to this page. So what we're going to do first is dump our NAND. So in order to do that, click run exploit, but when you do, press and hold the B button. And you just hold it until you get the page that you want. And here we are. So we're going to select NAND dumper hit A on it. Everything here should be checked that you need. Hit A again. And it's going to dump your NAND. So this can take a while, up to 10 minutes. Hey look, hi. <laughs> and when it's complete, it's going to restart your console. So I'll meet you back when it's done and restarted. So that only took about five minutes and my console is reset. And we're gonna go back to the internet browser and go to the same URL, wiiuexploit.xyz. So let's go and do that. And once you're there, instead of pressing B this time, you're gonna hold X after you press run exploit. So let's do that. Run exploit and hold X. And just keep holding it until we see what we want. Perfect. So now we're on the environment loader. It's on installer, so just click A. And now it's going to say, welcome to payload installer. And just press A on check. We're going to see if there's an installation possible. There is. So uh, click A again on install. And just go down down on the d-pad and click A on install and it shouldn't take too long and then press A and the, sh the console will shut down so we'll turn it back on and uh, continue off so once that's installed your your Wii U is now hacked with tiramisu so to go into tiramisu you have to go into the health, health and safety information right now it's just a regular Wii U but in order to get tiramisu 
you just have to click on health and safety and hold X and we're just gonna make some changes quick so go down on the d-pad to tiramisu and press Y that'll make it the default so as you can see it's highlighted press A and then we're gonna do the same for Wii U menu which should be the first option so click Y to highlight it and click A so once that's done you're set I'm gonna restart the console just to give you guys an idea of how it is so when you turn it on and it takes you to the menu it is not on the homebrew Wii you have to go into the health and safety first so once we're there I'll show you so you double click health and safety it'll go through these screens take you back to the Wii menu and now you're in tiramisu so to go to the homebrew launcher double click on me maker and there we go we're into the homebrew channel so from here we're gonna do the compact installer click load and this is gonna put homebrew uh, channel on the virtual Wii on the Wii menu so press a should be pretty quick press home to exit there so there, now there's a couple things we need to do on the Wii menu so I'll meet you back on the screen so now we're on the Wii menu you can go into the homebrew channel and start it up and here you're gonna load up D2X CIOS installer if you've homebrewed your Wii you will know what we're about to do next press A so when you get here, you're going to use your D-pad, go right and select the one where it says Beta 52 VWE. Go down and change the base to 57. Make sure it's 249 and click A and it should install. Now currently, and that's done, so press A. Next you're going to change the base to 56, leave the top the same, and change the slot to 250. And that one's done. So once that's done, go to base 58 and slot 251 press a and this will download as well and this is the last one we need to do and we're all done so just press B to exit and it should take you back to the homebrew channel so once you're back in the homebrew channel we're gonna do the iOS 80 installer so press a and click load and it'll bring you to a screen where it won't let you do anything for 30 seconds uh, it wants you to read all of this uh, before continuing. It gives you 30 seconds. You know, I probably couldn't read it in 30 seconds. They should give you a minute. <laughs> but anyways, you just gotta wait 30 seconds before you can click A. And there we go. We can press any button to continue. So let's click A. And the installation should be pretty quick. But that warning does say, uh, do this at your own risk. Can't blame anyone else if you do it to your own Wii. So that's done. So now all the firmware is onto your Wii U and your VWii, so you're totally set to do whatever you want with your homebrew Wii. But I am going to tell you uh, again on the Wii menu, on a fresh reboot of your Wii, so once it was off and you turn it back on, this is just a regular Wii U. In order to get the tiramisu, all you do is click on health and safety information and it should run uh, the software to turn it into the homebrew. You can set it up to auto boot so that you don't have to do this and that when you turn your Wii on it's it's already all set up. Uh, but I won't be making that tutorial in this video. So keep your eye out for that and subscribe if you want to see how to do that. But now once you went through the health and safety information, uh, just click on Me Maker and this is the homebrew launcher. It's inconspicu inconspicuous, incognito, but it works so it's no big deal. So that's everything for this tutorial, for this video. Uh, if you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like. Uh, it's greatly appreciated, it helps out a lot. And leave a comment if you run into any issues and I'll do my best to reply in a timely fashion. Subscribe if you wanna see more Wii U tutorials or if you wanna see Wii tutorials, I have a whole playlist for that. And I hope you have a good day.
Take care.